one of my biggest weaknesses is setting high expectations for myself. And I know what you're thinking. Why would setting high expectations be a bad thing? Here's the thing. When I set high expectations, not only for myself, but for the people around me, most of the time I'm left with this feeling of emptiness and resentment. I've done a few videos on expectations and letting go of expectations before. I had someone recently comment on one of those videos talking about how they couldn't let go of expectations and how expectations was ruining their life and driving people away and it got me thinking. I need to make another video on this topic. Since that video, I've learned to let a lot of expectations go and I've come a long way since creating that video. Now before we get into the video, I just want to welcome those of you who are new here. My name is Bridget. On this channel, you'll find me talk a lot about mental health, a lot about social anxiety, general anxiety, a lot of introvert related things because I myself am an introvert. So you'll see a lot of that. And so if any of those topics interest you, make sure you go check out some of my other videos. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful or useful. Comment below what you'd like to see more from me and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. So let's get into the video. Before I start talking about expectations, I just want to let you guys know that what brought me to start reading the comments or responding to that particular comment that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have not been responding to a lot of you guys and I feel so badly because it's, it's not you, it's me. Honestly, it just, I think it just brought me a lot of anxiety because I wanted to respond the right way and give you guys the right advice if you had questions. And like I said in last week's video, that whole, I, the idea of perfectionism and saying the right thing and doing the right thing has been tough for me, especially recently. And so as the comments kept piling up, I just, it built up more anxiety. And today I was just like, let me just go through all of them and respond to as many of you guys as I can. And I'm so glad I did. I felt so relieved. But just know that it wasn't because I didn't want to respond. It was because at the time I just couldn't. So back to expectations, because again, that's an expectation I set for myself. I have very high standards for myself. And when I don't meet those standards, I typically will kind of like freeze up like I did with responding to those comments and just not respond at all. So when I set high expectations of myself and I think that I will never meet those expectations, I proceed to just not respond. And I do this a lot of the time, not just with the comments, but with, you know, say someone's texting me or I have a really important email to respond to. I will build up so much importance on my response. And instead of responding, even a stupid response or a neutral response or whatever, I just don't respond at all. And so it just, it becomes negative. And I see this phenomena happening in a lot of different areas in my life. In the last video I talked about, which I will link up here for those of you who are interested in checking it out. In the last video I talked about how I set expectations of people around me, for example. I build up an event with a person or a conversation with a person and you know, I want it to go a particular way. I want it to go in a particular sequence. And when it doesn't go the way I expected or it doesn't go the way society expects. And even if this, this event or this conversation is neutral, if it's positive, but it's not what I expected, I perceive it as negative. And that can become not only dangerous, but just like, what a sad way to live, you know? You're surrounded by positivity or even neutrality, and yet you're perceiving it as all negative. And it's, it's frustrating because once you understand that, once you become aware of that and know that, 
it's kind of shitty looking back at all those experiences that were pretty great. And yet you turn them into fights or you turn them into you not being open and in positive about an experience because it wasn't going the way you expected. And once you realize that maybe this is the cycle you're also doing, when you learn to let go of those expectations or those high standards of either events or people or conversations or even yourself, when you learn to let that go, putting it simply, it just makes things so much easier. I can't even tell you how many fights I had, how many lows and just like depressive states in my life that I went through because either myself or somebody else wasn't meeting that expectation. And I can't dwell on it really because I can't change the past. I can only move forward and think about the future and what I can do next time to make that experience not negative. And just going back to what I was saying before, it's crazy how we can build up something so much in our heads. How we can live in our heads instead of being open, instead of just living and not thinking about things too much. Instead of overthinking and overreacting and all of the things that just like live in our mind. And if you're an introvert, just to bring it back to my favorite topic, you'll probably see this a lot in your life. As introverts, we often overthink about pretty much everything. And so when we have to go to a social event or be in a crowd, meet new people, basically not be alone, we overthink it. We sometimes set those expectations that it's going to go a particular way. The conversation will be smooth and you have these talking points in your head that you're gonna talk about and you know how you're gonna feel afterwards or how you're gonna feel during. And when those expectations aren't met, you feel, you feel shitty, you feel low and you feel like you're not worthy and your confidence just plummets. And when I have this conversation, this conversation about setting those kinds of expectations with the extroverts in my life, they are almost baffled by that concept. Let's say like, sometimes I will practice a conversation in my head, you know, or think about just, just the act of having small talk with a person or building up this, this anxiety and these expectations when we meet new people. And if you talk to an extrovert, like they would never have those expectations. They would never even think about what could happen when they meet new people. They just simply go there and they don't think about what they're gonna say. They don't think about how they look or how they sound or what people are looking at or any of those things. They just simply exist. And that's why for me as an introvert, I keep a lot of extroverts in my life because I know I can learn from them. I know I can get uncomfortable because it's what I need. And not because I think I need to change myself, but because someone who also has social anxiety, I know I need to grow. And every day I want to be better. And letting go of some of those high expectations in my life, again, whether it's about people or about myself, I know that letting go of those expectations is valuable for me and it's important for me and it will make my life so much better in the long run. What's the point of having an experience with someone or doing something crazy or adventurous or, you know, meet new people? like? those kinds of things, what's the point of doing that if you're going to set such a specific and high standard only to let yourself down, only to overreact after you let yourself down because those people didn't follow through? Like, that's no way to live. And no one is ever going to meet those expectations. In fact, they're probably not 
ever going to come close to those expectations. And once you accept that, your life again becomes a lot simpler. I know I'm an overthinker. And so when I surround myself with people who are typically not overthinkers, although it's hard, I know that that's what's best for me in order to get where I want to be. And it's difficult to accept, but I mean, we're really all on, we're all on a journey. We're all trying to learn what's best for us and, you know, be human and empathize with people and grow with people and learn new things and all of this, all of this stuff. But it gets hard when we have these limiting beliefs within ourselves and we have these things that are like so rigid within ourselves. I used to be like that. I used to be super rigid, not willing to do what's necessary, not willing to to grow or to learn about how I can be better or how I can make life around me better. And now that I'm on a journey that is dedicated to growing and learning and making things better and better and better, it almost becomes like an addiction in a good way, in a good, a good addiction. So how I feel about expectations is very similar how I felt about expectations before. But again, like I've said, I've learned more since then. And I think I feel even more strongly about this topic than I did last time. So if you do get a chance to check out that video, it'll be interesting to see the comparison of what I was saying then and what I was saying now. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got some use out of it and I will see you next time. Bye.